Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. I went to F45 this morning and there was a beautiful sunrise, so I got to watch that from my bedroom. I'm waiting for my smoothie to get here because I postmated from Creation. I am quite addicted to Postmates. It's so convenient to like order my smoothie on my way home for my workout. This is what I got to my done to my nails. I went back to the black and white tips, and then I have little cherries on. I'm wearing this cute little sporty and rich nutty, which I'm quite quite literally obsessed with. On my lunch break, I need to figure out my like exact podcast outline because like I feel like I have ideas, but I'm a little nervous about doing like my first solo in studio just because I feel like, I don't know, I'm just gonna be thinking about like, what is the producer thinking about this the whole time? And it's so weird and uncomfortable for me to be on the talent side of things. Like I'm so used to like being the producer, judging what they're saying, tell them what could be a better way to say that. And I feel like since I have producer brain, I struggle being in front of the camera sometimes because I'm thinking like, oh, that didn't sound right. Or like, I'm literally producing myself. Juicy. By the way, this is my bag. Alicia got me this for Christmas last year. It's this like Supreme bag she got from the Real Real. So cute and it's cheetah and so practical. Like you can even buckle it here so it's like nice and cinched and cute. Sorry, the lighting isn't very ideal. But I use it for everything. Like I have my makeup, food, hairbrush, like all the things in here. I'm turning into like full Visco girl with all these stickers. Three, two, one. Welcome back to Pretty Basic. You have your favorite co-hosts. Hi, my name is Remy Ashton Cruz. Hi, my name is... I got back to Alicia's house, hung out with Remy for a while, did a little bit of work, and Alicia and Ashley had like a doctor's appointment or something, so Rem and I just hung out. I just put on makeup, and then I made the whole outline for my podcast tonight, which I'm very excited, but also nervous for. I feel way more excited now because I like figured out the outline. I think I'm gonna do like a whole recap of like how the fork I got to where I am, where I'm from, my background, you know, what were pivotal things in my life that made me the way I am. I feel like it's easy to understand my job and like what I do and what I'm all about like moving forward with the podcast it is called making moves so I want to be able to like confidently give you tips and tricks and ideas on how to make moves in your life and like I feel like the best way to show or like have that credibility is like kind of show what moves I made in mine oh my god they restocked it George okay I think I'm gonna do Breezeberry I just Guys, something about Alani new hits so different for me. The flavors are just so elite. Guys, I think I need to get a new tr car tripod. I'm in traffic right now, but I was just thinking how nice it feels to be like out of my comfort zone right now. Almost like nervous, like and scared uh, to do this. Like I'm definitely out of my comfort zone going and recording like in the studio and doing a solo. Okay, I'm gonna drive, but like, if you're scared to do something, it's, that's good. I feel like taking risks should be scary. This adrenaline feeling is like so good and scary, but like, it's good. It's a good scary. It's like the type of adrenaline you get before you're like about to go on a date or you're about to perform on stage or play your game or whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm like excited, but I'm nervous. But I'm excited! This traffic is not it. You guys, we made it to the studio and this is indeed going to be my spot for the night. I'm gonna get my laptop out. You guys, if you need a backpack, I highly recommend this Lululemon one. Oh my gosh, not my music playing. Beauty and a Beat, fire song. But yeah, highly recommend this backpack. I'll try and link it down below. If I don't, remind me. Ma, I'm being Sharpe ovens today, you guys. <laughs> Welcome back to Making Moves, everyone. I'm your host, TK. I'm nervous right now. This is my first solo pod in studio, but I feel like it's necessary. This is like so weird, me being in front of the camera. I was a golfer, like dead ass. When I was deciding where I wanted to go to college, I always knew in the back of my head, I was like, I'm gonna go to LA or New York. I'm using this Buxom lip gloss really quick, cause I could use a little bit of makeup right now. Buxom, I think has my favorite lip gloss, potentially of all time, saying a lot. 
Do you guys invest? Because I feel like I don't know nearly as much about investing as I want to. And to be honest, I feel like I find the whole thing a little bit intimidating, but I don't know. I've committed to the girl boss lifestyle, okay? I'm super girl boss now. I really have been making an active effort to learn more about it. That being said, I am thrilled to be partnering with Acorns for this video. Huge shout out to Acorns for sponsoring. If you don't know what Acorns is, let me just tell you. Acorns is a super easy to use app that helps you save and invest every day in the background of your life. There is no expertise required. With Acorns, you can invest small amounts every day and even start with as little as $5. Acorns has a feature called Roundup where the app will automatically round up your purchases to the nearest dollar. So if you were to go buy a matcha or coffee with your card, you can set up your account so it is rounded up. The spare change is automatically invested into a custom portfolio for you managed by experts. You might not even notice it and over time it can really grow. Acorns takes a lot of guesswork out of investing. It is trusted and backed by leading innovators and investors from PayPal, Dwayne Johnson, Ashton Kutcher, Steve Harvey, and more. Download Acorns and start investing with just your spare change. And guess what? You can get a $10 bonus investment if you use my link when you set up your account. Terms and conditions apply. Go to get.acorns.com slash Taylor King to download that. The link will also be in my description. Thank you so much to Acorns for sponsoring. Let's jump right into the rest of the vid. good this morning my bff from back home annie texted me she was like let's forking go wake up at 45 and i kid you not i would not have gone had she not texted me that so this is your sign if you're not good at waking up in the morning or getting your workout in and you're struggling lacking motivation find a friend she lives in the midwest she lives in chicago but she's up two hours earlier than me so like when she wakes up she'll text me that and it motivated me so much and so this is your sign to have a buddy that wakes up earlier than you and motivates you. Y'all just had my one of my favorite YouTubers on Luna Montana. She was just here. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. Hey. Remy. What's up? I, is my <laughs> other favorite YouTuber. Cooking with Remy. Fork me up. Literally the president of the Cooking with Remy fan club. Well, I, I was I, I was you. pissed because Alicia comes upstairs after sleeping at my parents' house. She comes upstairs and she sends you a photo of cooking with Remy on the thing. She was like, Ash put this on. I was like, no, she didn't. I was you. <laughs> it was fucking me. I was like, no, I put on cooking with Remy for Libby. <laughs> was it you? Yes. I was Ash like, I put this on. And Ash was like, yo, I'm the biggest fan. I go, I who put it on? Taylor me. King. Taylor King did. When I tell you, I am, I've never been more obsessed with any of Remy's content in my life than cooking with Remy. It makes me feel like I don't know you. I feel like I know everything that's going on with your vlogs because it's like so personal. Yeah. But with cooking with Remy, it's like, what's going to happen? I don't know what drugs she's going she's gonna to show. <laughs> I appreciate it. Obsessed. Anyway, listen to our podcast. Obviously, it's going to be lit. It's going to be like Remy and TK in Tokyo, which like nothing better than that. <laughs> I feel like we didn't vlog it enough. No. Like we did. But look at us now. We're matching. <laughs> oh my god, we didn't even plan. <laughs> we're gonna start, but go subscribe to Cooking with Ruby. I know my hair looks like shit right now. I just took like a it wasn't really a power nap. I was intending for it to be a power nap or like a nappuccino. Which by the way, if you don't know what a nappuccino is. Let me just tell you, this is what it is. You chug coffee, espresso shot, Americana, whatever you drink, matcha, you drink it and then you lay down for like 20 minutes and that's it. And by the time you wake up, the coffee's kicked in and you've rested for a little. I didn't do that. I tried to at least lay down for a little and sucks because it's like such good light out. It could be productive, get filming done. I'm just exhausted. I think it's because my workout class, I woke up this morning at like 6 a.m. and I started so early and I'm just like not used to that yet, I guess. All of that is to say I'm tired. I recorded two podcasts, one with Luna Montana and one with Remy. It went so well. I'm really actually conflicted because podcasting is like one of my favorite things to do and I wish that I had like a co-pilot with my podcast. Like I wish I had someone to podcast with every week. I just want to partner a buddy so badly. And I don't know, I just haven't 
found anyone that fits my vibe or matches my energy or whatever. So I'm down to do it alone and have guests and I love having guests, but people are like, we love the solos. So I'm, I'm just conflicted because it, a solo just is so unnatural for me. I feel like if I have a good topic to talk about, then I do fine. But like, if I feel forced, which sometimes it's just like, it's the only time I can record, I have to. I don't know, I feel like I'm complaining. I don't mean to complain. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to even have a podcast and just like, be able to go into the studio and stuff. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired from the day. It's like that four o'clock slump. Oh my gosh, I need to get my hair cut and highlighted. Other than that, I have just been absolutely loving podcasting. I would love to have some really cool, like be confident in my hosting skills and like, you know, be confident in my connections and network that like people would wanna come on. Like my goal right now is to be in the place where so many cool guests wanna come on. I don't even know what to do with myself. I don't have enough time for it. Like I would love to be in the place. I would love to do like traditional celebrities, like people I just never thought that I would be able to talk to in real life. like. Reese Witherspoon, I would die for. After doing F45 with Mark, I'm like, oh my gosh, Mark Wahlberg would be so sick to talk about Entourage, Jeremy Piven from Entourage. I've been listening to the Smart Lists podcast lately and it is just so dang good with Will Arnett and Jason Bateman and, hold on, I made some ninja, and Sean Hayes. They are working hilarious and I'm so envious of the dynamic between all of them. By the way, I'm using this like, this matcha packet. Peak, PK, peak, and I really like it. And I love how it comes in like almost like a crystal light packet. How funny is this shot glass? Puck for do. If you guys know of any guests that you think I should have on the pod, please let me know. Or people you think you could see like being a recurring guest or almost like fill the role as a co-host one day. I've been in a really big like cleaning mood lately. Something about wanting to be tidy or, you know the YouTuber Mai? She makes these like ASMR TikToks that I love. She's a really good YouTuber. She has like really epic, like 24 hour transformations. She DM'd me when I was like stressed about like managing time and like how to go from one thing to, to the next. And she said to me, which I thought was really helpful. I've read in a lot of like articles and studies that like creative people are messy. And like, here's the thing. I cannot stand like dirty. There's a difference between messy and dirty, but I am a bit messy. Like I don't need to put my clothes away right when they're done or whatever. Like I basically, my problem is clothes and storage. Like I'm avoiding putting my clothes away right now because it's just like, I don't have enough hangers because I don't have enough room for the hangers to hang the rest of my stuff up. I'm definitely venting to you guys, I'm so sorry. Sometimes the camera is like therapy. Speaking of, I need to email my therapist to start it up again because I haven't really like done it. And my conversation with Luna, like inspired me. Oh, that's lovely. Mm, it's like a warm hug from grandma. Howdy y'all. It's been quite a day, you know, a turn of events. I was not anticipating this whole day. I was supposed to be in Vegas this weekend. And so Joe, Peyton's famous boyfriend, <laughs> He's oh, dancing over here. He came to visit, and I think they probably thought, oh, TK's gonna be in Vegas, great. Mm -hmm. But here I am, still here. Mm -hmm. You know, work plans changed, and now I am involved in date night, which I'm really excited about. I honestly love, like, I love being a plus one, and I don't mind being a third wheel. I think it's really fun. No expectations. I'm gonna have a good time. <laughs> and so today I woke up with Tat45 and then came back, got ready, took my time, edited a podcast or gave some notes. I figured out how to put my lashes on. I was like spent way too long on them, but I was like, you know what, practice makes perfect. And then we went to a nice little lunch and I got hammered, thanks to Joe. I like I don't have a headache, but like I could be a lower. Do you feel that? I was chugging water. Too. I was just chugging water too. That's the game plan. I'm wearing this romper shindig from Super Down. Love it. So cute. Every time I've gone out to dinner with Joe, which isn't that many times, Joe, but not by choice. Joe. Come here, Joe. Because he gets me blacked people. out. Well, not blacked out, but really drunk. <laughs> but like, look how big he is. And he drinks the same as Payne and I, and we're like drunk and he's like, tee. Go do what I can. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But we met all these friends. Your friends are great. They're really nice. I feel like it like explains you more. 
Yeah. Gives me a little bit more depth. Yeah. I'm like, okay, Joe makes sense. Like, she's so quiet. And your friends are like, actually, no, I don't no, think you're quiet. quiet. I get that a lot, actually. Really? Oh, yeah. But people say you're quiet. I feel like Joe and Peyton are kind of like my like cool older cousins or something like that. And so they just like take me to do fun stuff. Our Uber's here, but they're waiting. It's fine. Well, I got a black because we can't show up to catch not in a black. That's like so embarrassing. <laughs> and we're with Joe and he's like famous. So I couldn't not call it black. I'm going bro. I'm going bro. <laughs> Hanging out with Joe. <laughs> No. All right. Toodles.